But are, are you suggesting, you keep saying propping up zombie companies. Are, are, you, are you arguing to let airlines, for example, fail? Yes. Why? I mean, how, how does that make sense in the broader scheme of, of the economy? Because it's not, because when you look at what it means, this is why I'm saying, like, this is a lie that's been purported by Wall Street. When a company fails, it does not fire their employees. It goes through a packaged bankruptcy, right? If anything, what happens is the people who have the pensions inside those companies, the employees of these companies, end up owning more of the company. The people that get wiped out are the speculators that own the unsecured tranches of debt or the folks that own the equity. And by the way, those are the rules of the game. That's right, because these are the people that purport to be the most sophisticated investors in the world. They deserve to get wiped out. But the employees don't get wiped out. The pensions don't typically get wiped out. Why does anybody, I just don't understand, why does anybody deserve, using your word, to get wiped out from a, a, a crisis created like, like this? How, how does anybody deserve to get wiped don't. out? Well, but, but, but just be clear, like, who are we talking about? We're talking about a hedge fund that serves a bunch of billionaire family offices. Who cares? Let them get wiped out. Who cares? If they don't get to summer in the Hamptons, who cares? I mean, there are people. You, you don't think the employees? Table, on, Scott. You don't if think you the employees of these companies table, own stocks? I mean, own their stocks, I, own the company's stocks? You can you can look on Bloomberg and you can see what percentage of these companies are typically owned by. These these things are owned by BlackRock. These things are owned by these huge, you know, amorphous organizations. Ultimately, downstream, and the employee owns a few hundred dollars or a few thousand thousand dollars of shares. Well, I just don't understand. So this is, like, is a, a, could, like a natural disaster. And why does anybody deserve to get wiped out? Wouldn't that be immoral in and of itself? No, because what's happening right now is what I'll tell you is on Main Street today, people are getting wiped out. And right now, rich CEOs are not. Boards that had horrible governance are not. Hedge funds are not. People are. Six million people just this week alone basically saying, holy mackerel, I don't know how I'm going to make pay, you know, my own expenses for the next few weeks, days, months. So it's happening today to individual Americans. And what we've done is disproportionately prop up and protect you know, poor performing CEOs, companies and boards. And you have to wash these people out. 